What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. First of all, yes, I'm aware how many hits got muted. I don't know why it got muted. YouTube always hating on me. They always shadow banning me. I be having likes. The likes don't pop up. Comments, the comments disappear. Nobody cursed or said anything crazy, but they're gone. So I don't know. But I'm going to do a little bit more editing on that. We're going to get that one back up. So don't worry about it. I know that was a popular one. We're going to get that one back up. But for right now, what we want to focus on is the idea of validation and why you should never make validation something that's your main focus because it will affect your mental health in a negative way. Let me tell you guys something. Like right now, you guys always talk about the three sixes. You gotta have the three sixes or won't no females talk to you, right? And this is a gender neutral video, so ladies stay tuned because I'm gonna talk to y'all too. But everybody always talk about how you gotta have the three sixes or won't nobody talk to you. Six inches of pipe, right? Six feet tall, six figures, a six pack. Let me tell you guys something. When I was in college, Six figures wasn't even talked about. Okay, six figures. If you made six figures, you was like the hero on campus if you made six figures. We was going to school thinking getting a 50K, 75K, 80K job was winning. This six figure talk is new. Now, I told y'all where this six figure talk came from. It's because a lot of these women have been pushed to school to get these high paying degrees from these prestigious colleges. Then they come out and they get a job that's 50, 60, 70K, but they got 140, 200, 300,000 dollars worth of debt. That's where this six-figure talk came from. So it's always been unrealistic, but that's a trend. Eventually, they're going to realize only 10% of the population makes six figures, and they're going to come off of that. Okay. Beards, for example. Nobody was on beards when I was in school, guys. Nobody really cared about beards. People didn't like the scruffy look. They liked the clean look because you looked more corporate. You know what people was on when I was in college? Tattoos. Guess what you very rarely hear anyone talking about anymore? Tattoos. Now, that doesn't mean there's not some women who still like tattoos, but it's nowhere in the three sixes. Now, like I said, it's the six pack, six inches, six feet, six figures, and it's beards. No one talks about tattoos anymore, but that was the biggest thing when I was in school. They had the song, you got your thumb and tattoo on your back, tat, tat, tat it up. That was the big thing. Now, no one's talking about it anymore. Ladies, okay? Right now, you'll realize everything's about a butt. Everybody want to have a fat butt. Everybody want to twerk, right? Now, you go back, let's say, 20 years, who was it about? Hooters, Tilt to Kill, it was all about breast, right? So everybody ran out, right? And what did they do? They went out and got breast implants, Pamela Anderson, all them big old fake boobies, right? Now, everybody's off of butts. If you got big old fake boobies, now they make fun of you. They call them rocks. They call them big old hard rocks on your chest. But you ain't got no feeling in your nipple. You can't breastfeed no more. You took mad L to follow the trend of having big bets because that was was popping like 20 years ago, but now nobody cares. Now you see everybody going out, they're getting the BBL shots. They're going to the Dominican Republic, getting plastic pumped up in there, stuff that might possibly give them an infection or ruin them, right? But everybody's going out and getting it because everybody want to have the fat butts, right? But what are you hearing trending a lot now, ladies? Fit, feminine, now everybody wants a fit woman. What are fit women generally? If they didn't get surgery, skinny, slender. I don't mean they can't be slim, thick, but they ain't gonna look like nobody with no BBL. So guess what's about to happen? The same thing that happened to breast. It's about to go out of style. So now, if you got a BBL, they make fun of you now. Now they talk about how you look like a Popeye drumstick. Now they talk about how you look like a wisdom tooth. Now they talk about how you look like an android. This is what happens when you chase trends. Trends are always changing, guys. What goes around, comes back around. Things go out of style and come back in style. Like in the 80s, everybody used to run around with the neon colors and the biker shorts and the yoga pants and the skin-tight workout clothes, right? And then that went out of style in the 90s and early 2000s. And guess what everybody's doing now? Wearing workout clothes and biker shorts. This is what I'm trying to say to you guys. The rough, scruffy man, the beards and all that, that was in around that time too. You know what I'm saying? The early 70s and stuff. Now. It went out in like the 90s and stuff because you didn't have the corporate look and then it came back. When you chase validation, when you chase trends, when you chase what everyone's going for, I wanna have the big butt because that's popping right now. I wanna have the big breast because that's popping right now. I wanna have the six figures because that's popping right now. You get know what I'm saying? I wanna have the beard because that's popping right now. What you're doing is you're relying on your ego and you're giving up who you really are and giving up expressing yourself the way you really want to, to be popular or to be trendy or to get men or to get women. And it's gonna make you depressed because that's another form of keeping up with the Joneses. And that's what you guys don't understand. Keeping up with the Joneses isn't just about money, trying to make a lot of money. 
Keeping up with the Joneses is also about your look. Getting a BBL because everybody got a BBL. Getting fake breasts because everybody got fake breasts. Trying to go to the gym and get pecked up because everybody pecked up. Out here scamming and hustling and working nine jobs so you can try and make six figures because that's what's supposed to be popping right now. Going out here and buying oils and stuff. I hate when people ask me, how did you grow your beard like that? It just grew. I didn't do nothing to this. People out here putting urine on their face talking about urine treatments to try to get a beard so they can go out here and get girls. And at the end of the day, just be yourself. The only way to truly be happy is to be yourself. Now, I'm not telling y'all not to get surgeries and not to get in shape and not to chase the bag because one time a dude said to me, so we're not supposed to chase the bag? Of course you're supposed to chase the bag, but you're not supposed to chase the bag so that you can front on social media or so that you can get all the girls. You're supposed to chase the bag because that's what you want to do so you can live the lifestyle that you want to live. If you augment your body, if you get fake pressure, you get a fake butter, you put on lashes or whatever the case may be, you're supposed to be doing that because that's something that you want to do. Not because it's trendy, not because you think it's going to get you more attention, not because you think it's going to make you look better on social media. And the problem is, like I said, when you start having that, I want to chase validation mode, it messes up your self-esteem because, like I said, it's just like trying to keep up with the Joneses. What's trendy, what's hot is always changing. And so you always have to augment yourself. You always have to adjust yourself. You know what I'm saying? And some things, like I said, you can't come back from. Your BBL might get botched like um, K. Michelle and them got botched. And then you got to get surgery to take it back out. Now you look all crazy and deformed. You get what I'm saying? You get a urine treatment and all that. Get your beard out. Then you got bumps all over your face and stuff. And you can't take these things back. Like, that's the biggest thing I want you guys to realize. You can't take these things back. Once you make these changes, that's just what it is. Guys, be yourself. This is what I tell you guys all the time. Do what you do and be yourself. You're going to destroy your mental health trying to keep up with validations and trying to keep up with trends. Because trends are constantly changing. Okay, well, what's hot today ain't gonna be hot tomorrow. And what's hot tomorrow ain't gonna be hot in like six months. It's gonna be something different. And then, like I said, when you're dealing with your physical self, when you're dealing with your personality and your body, which you only get one of, and you change it and that trend goes away, the feeling that you get when that trend goes away and that validation goes away and you don't even like what you turned yourself into, you just did it for that attention, that void's gonna cause depression. It's gonna mess with you mentally. It's gonna make you have suicidal thoughts. It gets real dangerous and stuff like that, man. So. Never augment your looks, your style, or your goals based upon what's trendy and what seems popping in society. Always remain you. Just be yourself, guys. I preach that all the time. Whatever yourself is, be that. If it's not cool now, if you lame now, if you corny now, that's fine. I was I was called lame and corny in high school. I was looked at, my mindset was looked at as popping when I got into college. I'm doing better than 90% of the people I went to high school with now. So you can't worry about stuff like that. Just do you be you. If you're going to change something physically about yourself, change it because you want to change it. Not because you think it's going to get you more attention or validation from the masses. Okay? The only thing that matters at the end of the day is you. And your ego, yourself don't care about validation. That's ego at the end of the day. We all trying to kill our ego. That's the goal of everybody to kill the ego, the death of ego, and just being yourself. So that's the big message that I really want to get across to you guys. What's popping is always changing and you can't keep up. It's not just financial. Like I said, it's physically too. And that's what a lot of people lose out on. So don't lose your mental trying to chase these trends so you can get all these likes, all right? Social media, you be popping for like a day, then it's over, and now you're like, oh, I gotta do the next thing. It's never in this cycle. You turn yourself into an entertainment show, a circus car. You don't wanna be no circus car. You wanna be yourself. So that's the big message that I wanted to get out because I see everyone making that mistake. Alex, I'm out. Peace.